The next item is item number 13, application for a certificate of appropriateness in the borough of Manhattan, docket number 15-2416, block 717, lot 52, 416 West 20th Street in the Chelsea Historic District, a Greek Revival style row house built in 1839 to 40. This is an application to construct a rear yard addition. This was read into the record on May 20th. Okay, hearing open, please. Motion second. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, good afternoon. My name is Jalen, uh, principal at Hernandez Eli, a small practice here in Manhattan, also with Calvin, who is with James Anzalone, architect, who's the architect of record for the project. Um, this is a little bit exciting for our little practice because this is our first landmarks hearing <laughs> presentation ever. Um, my wife told me to, to relax, but I'm not. <laughs> um, She's right. <laughs> Uh, so, so I mean, you're probably super familiar with this. I mean, this is Cushman Row. It, it, it's it's you know a, a prime example of Greek Revival architecture, and um, just recently changed hands to a new owner. Uh, the prior owner was somebody who took great care of the project. You know, it's currently uh, occupied by five apartments, uh, one apartment per each floor. Uh, the new owner has plans of occupying the first floor level. Um, uh, Corey explained this already. Uh, the hope is to actually restore the rear um, tea porch addition to uh, a state of which reflects its original intention. Um, the owner is also hoping to add a porch and balcony to that tea porch. They're occupying that level and they're hoping to be able to have some kind of outdoor space um, added on. Uh, 418 is designated as uh, uh, the, you know, an example of the tea porch uh, pre 20th century, the most intact version of it. Um, 412 and 414, when they went underwent renovations, uh, used 418 for the most part as um, an example of that. Actually, I stand corrected. 412 is this brick facade here. Um, didn't use 418 as an example, clearly. 414, which was renovated in 1996, uh, did use 418. And when 418 went, underwent a renovation in addition in 2006, it's mostly used uh, itself as, a, as an example. Um, this is the current state of the rear elevation. It's really not in, in great shape. It was severely altered in 1937. Uh, a lot of this is uh, original to that 1937 alteration. These windows are about 30 years old. It suffered um, some um, rotting of the wood structure because of poor um, waterproofing. You can see here down at the basement level that there's really no protection against any flooding. So actually every time it rains, the basement level floods. So there's a lot of just fixing up to do um, here, so the idea is to actually rebuild that addition to its current envelope. Uh, not to go any further, uh, to essentially uh, put forward, you know, what the T-porch design should have been like, the original tripartite design, uh, infilling with uh, glass, divided lights, um, a hardy plank to approximate wood, painted white uh, to match, and to, uh, to uh, do the uh, original trim details as well to match. Um, in addition to the uh, restoration of the tea porch, which is just this sliver of space here, the client is hoping to add a porch and balcony in this zone uh, here, which is approximately six feet. This zone is very much dictated by uh, the, um, how far the neighboring 418 projects, so it's aligned with that. Um, here the balcony, here the porch. Here there is some minor excavation done so that we can at least 
one, improve drainage, two, provide better access to the ground floor apartment and to allow just functionally the doors to open. Here is the uh, uh, outline, the addition of the porch and the balcony. Um, the porch is as aligned with 14 as you can see here, so is the balcony edge. The balcony was originally meant to provide shade for the porch and for a larger space for congregation above. Um, we had hoped to be able to bring this kind of balcony all the way across to provide a kind of uh, covered porch condition, but DOB uh, can't allow that. Uh, we can only build it out to about 50% of the length of the, of the facade, so that's what's dictating this, this piece here. Uh, this shows you the, the uh, basement level patio that we are excavating, which is still smaller than the excavation of both 414 and 418, which are significantly larger than the excavation that we're proposing for 416. Here the porch is aligned with 418, and here the balcony also aligned, and it's roughly about 50% of the facade, and, and this is um, essentially what we're proposing as the new uh, restoration in addition. And you know, this is all, the material palette is limited to. Okay. Okay. Questions? So that, sec that section of balcony on the uh, second floor, yes. you can't believe that the columns are not under it, right? The columns, columns are, are, uh, are underneath it. They stick out that, that level. Yes, so uh, the act here, right, as a diagram. But just that, that, that diagram shows the columns line up with the edges of the balcony. Oh, yeah, 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 here. It's, 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 it extends a little bit beyond it. Right, yeah, about, about a foot on either side. Right. So, it, so it does stick out? Okay. No, 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 it, this, this is, so, it, it, so this, is, this is the column here. It sticks out to the left and right of it, but it doesn't protrude forward. So at the, right at the face, the columns are aligned with the balcony, but it comes a little bit further out on the sides. So all those columns are new, right? There's some, they're, they're on either side, too? Uh, that's, uh, these columns, these are columns here, mm -hmm. and then these are columns here. What you're seeing back here are actually the pilasters from the facade mm -hmm. behind it. Okay, uh, we'll go to testimony. Thank you very much, and we'll come back in a moment. Barbara, say. Barbara Zay of the Historic Districts Council. HDC commends the applicant on these well-designed changes to the rear tea porch, but finds the balcony extension to be awkward and not in keeping with an otherwise fine intervention on this row house. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Anyone else? No, I assume you know nothing further to say about the balcony. Okay. Discussion, Fred. Thank you. I agree, agree wholeheartedly with the testimony just given. I think the... Uh, um, the whole endeavor is, is uh, to be commended and is appropriate, except for that little uh, jut out on the uh, second floor balcony. Michael? I agree with those statements as well. Agree, just cut back that second floor yeah. porch so that it kind of has a proper relationship with those columns. Yeah, agreed, that's, that's the part that's weird. Everything else is very much in keeping with the character of a historic mm -hmm. porch. Concur with the remarks of uh, other commissioners. Okay. All right. So um, you can ex you can exhale now. All right. No, you did a great job. You can tell. You can tell. We tell there will be family peace. You did well. Thank you. Uh, so we'll close the hearing. Motion second. And Michael Goldblum, please. Regarding 416 West 20th Street in the Chelsea Historic District, the application is to construct a rear yard addition. I recommend approval finding that the existing rear porch has been heavily altered and may not be original to the building. That the rear porch addition is only minimally visible from a public thoroughfare. That the configuration and details of the proposed rear addition will be consistent with the style of the building. Recall the symmetry and configuration of the historic administration of the mid-century tea porch, mid-19th century tea porch. That the painted wood cladding of the proposed rear addition Actually, the painted hardy plank and wood cladding of the proposed rear addition will recall finish it, will recall materials and finishes found at the historic tea porches. That the proposed rear addition, maintaining the footprint and height of the existing porch addition, fits within the context of the other lower scale rear yard additions of the block, will not overwhelm the building, adjacent buildings, or the central green space. That the proposed metal deck stairs descending into the rear yard will not extend to the rear lot line or substantially eliminate any the presence of the rear yard. That the proposed deck 
while minimally visible from 19th Street will be seen in conjunction with other rear decks and fences and not call into attention to itself and to propose work, will not diminish the special architecture star character of the building in historic district. However, the applicant will slightly modify the width of the second floor terrace so that it has a proper relationship with the columns supporting it. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Approved. Thank you.